The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. And is telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show every week at this time with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, thank you. I'm happy to be here. And, you know, we've all used PowerPoint or seen people use PowerPoint to provide some visuals to go along with their presentation. But, you know, you can also use props. Uh, as long as it fits what you're talking about. Um, an example I use in the blog that goes with this week's tip is that years ago, uh, I wrote a speech for an executive who was going to be talking about supporting teachers. And so he came out at the beginning of his speech and very, you know, he, he didn't use a lot of fire, but I mean, he just basically very visibly put an apple on the lectern. Uh, he didn't yeah. say anything about it. He just left it there, but it was there throughout his speech. And then at the end of the speech, when he got to where he was ready to make the pitch about supporting teachers, he picked up the apple and he talked about how, you know, they all saw about giving uh, an apple to the teacher. And then he used that and kept the apple in his hand. And he talked about things that he wanted to talk about, about supporting teachers. And, you know, it, I know from, cause I was in the audience and watched and heard people talking about it afterwards that it worked, and it worked because it was simple and because it fit what he had to say. And what's nice about uh, a visual thing like the, like a prop is that visuals help uh, us remember things, and also it makes what can be fairly conceptual and abstract, it makes it concrete, and it's also easier to understand things that are concrete rather than abstract. And Jerry, you are speaking our language. Uh, and anybody who listens to the show for some time knows that I was an illusionist and I used uh, the object lessons, the illusions, to illustrate uh, various points. And I agree, a prop, especially in the story that you just told, where by putting that apple there and then not drawing any attention to it, all the attention you know, ends up going right where it needs to go. And then when he engages the apple, everything ties together and makes sense. Absolutely. And, and and you were talking about one, Angel, before we just went on the air. You want to tell that? Yeah, Karen Sussman did a, did a, a workshop, a presentation, and mm-hmm. she had a scroll talking about Ron Popeil and all the different products he had. His, you know, his, the Ronco guy. Yeah, Ronco and Vegco and Suco and Cutco. Vegematic. and Yes, all the <laughs> yeah. Maddox. And, and it was a scroll piece of paper that she rolled out, and it just went all down the middle of the floor. And Must it was, have been 20 feet long. It was. It was very visual to say all the different things and the, that she was emphasizing. And that one prop, I remember, I remember her. I remember her name. I remember the presentation. I remember the prop. And because of that, when I get her newsletter... She always kind of ties in something to it, and it makes it easy for us to remember. And it's it's not a distraction. And I think sometimes, Jerry, people can take this prop prop thing a little too far. Well, and actually, you actually that's a good segue into what I wanted to sort of close up with, which is exactly that. If you're going to use a prop or props, make sure they reinforce your message, that they need to fit what you're talking about, and they need to help you make whatever point you want to make. They shouldn't be distracting. So the simpler, the better, usually. You and bet. one that you would think you wouldn't have to say, but um, I have seen a couple of cases where I kind of crazy a little bit, is make sure they're not dangerous. Uh, don't be throwing things around or whatever, something that... Oh, don't take all the fun can. out of it, Jerry. I know. Isn't it funny you know, that you have to bring that up to make sure that it, that it isn't dangerous because we have uh, probably can all go right back to something we've seen and uh, saw some poor judgment on, on the presenters, on the presenter's uh, side of that. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you for uh, for bringing this in, and we will uh, make sure that we use props. You, you know, if you, if you uh, use PowerPoint, you can use them with PowerPoint, right? With or without. Doesn't with matter. or without. Uh, but don't don't go overboard and don't make them dangerous. Absolutely. Jerry, I appreciate that. And I think we can all think back to a presentation in time or a teacher where a prop just really laid that message. And talk about getting your story remembered, understood, 
and told. Absolutely. Look, I did it backwards. Yeah, no, you did. You did okay. <laughs> the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, "Writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank piece of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead." Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, and press releases, power presentations, and more. And Jerry will probably even help you find the right prop. He can also edit what you've already written. You can reach Jerry at jerrybrownpr.com. Or just give them a call at uh, 303-594-8016. Once again, that's 303-594-8016. Nothing is impossible with Jerry Brown PR. We'll be right back with more on the Experience Pros radio show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. 